unique um, as much as possible. So I thought of an idea to give out a prosthetic arm uh, for my patient. So I was researching um, all these things online um, about the prosthetic arms, what kind of prosthetic arms I could be able to give to my patients, which pro prosthetic arms I will be able to afford. So then um, after like researching for like a week or so, um, I found this organization in the Spain, which is called All You Demi 3D. They provided me with this prosthetic arm and for my patient. So I went to the patient's home to see how she is doing with her prosthetic arm. She was able to do most of the activities with her prosthetic arm. She was pretty confident with it. She was able to ride a bicycle, which is like something that we could not imagine a patient riding a bicycle with a prosthetic arm. So compared to before and after like a one month of post prosthetic training, she didn't have any kind of like traumatic distress because uh, which led to her amputation. She was gaining her confidence level back. She was getting back on track, able to do her activities, going back to school, writing her exams. She was doing everything that she could possibly do, even without an arm. As an occupational therapist, we work with the patients both mentally and physically. So that's what I did as an occupational therapy clinician student, uh, which led to uh, something great for this um, amputee uh, who was able to get back on track with her day-to-day -day life which led to a good uh, quality of life improvements and then moreover she is independent with a prosthetic arm.